<laughs> Figure it out. Anyway, more about more about life here in a minute. Let's uh, let's get weird. Uh, <laughs> classic. I'm, I'm Thanks. down for it. All right, uh, Jill, you get. Uh, she's gone. So, <laughs> uh, I was like, did you watch the spell? No. Okay. Well, I heard most of it. Oh, nice. that's that's the same thing. You can come sit right over here. <laughs> did you hear anything about baloney? Yeah. <laughs> My baloney. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. All right. Anyways, uh, welcome to a very weird return of the F Movie Podcast. We're your hosts, Boo. Uh, <laughs> <Christ> <laughs> Mason and Nathan. Uh, it's a joke I've made twice now. Well, I'm making it a third time, probably. That's all. Uh, Mason, what movie are we talking about today? We're gonna we're gonna be talking about weird, the the, the Al Yankovic story. Yes. I think is what it's properly called. I don't yeah, know. that's the. Semicolon. The yeah. Story. Yeah. Leave the um, semicolon. It's yeah. basically just a <laughs> slightly exaggerated storytelling. Only slightly. Only so slightly. slightly. So slightly. Um, no. Al Yankovic's childhood to rise to, you know, fame. Fame of artists. Uh, yeah. yeah. And and maybe you would say his demise as well, a little bit along the way. Sure. Um, Before we go any further, mm-hmm. I have to ask Mason. Based on your inglorious re- uh, bastard's <laughs> review, did you think this is exactly how everything went? When did you check out? Or, so uh, or when did you start having questions? I know this was on record <laughs> that Price is also on board a little bit on this. Where, and I hope that we can all agree. There okay. were some points in this movie where you were like, is this part real? Like, like, did maybe did he do this a little bit? Oh, no, I absolutely believe that he put out uh, the song before Prince. You mean That's Michael Jackson? Michael, Michael Jackson. Jackson. Sorry, Michael Jackson. He did Jackson. eat it. Yeah, yeah. That, no. eat it before beat it. Eat it before, yeah. before beat it. But no, I think the part that got me where I was like, maybe this did happen, was like the Madonna part because I don't know who she dated. Like I know Everybody. she dated like Dennis Rodman. <laughs> yeah, and that was all I know. Madonna is light years more <laughs> famous than well, exactly. we are now. Exactly, and that's why I was like, well, this probably. <laughs> but she needed that maybe. bump. But she needed that bump. <laughs> the Yankovic yeah, bump, baby. Yeah. Um, oh, we'll come back for Madonna. She she a piece this movie. Evan woo. Rachel. Woo. Yeah, no. Yeah. Bring, back, world, bring back. You know what? We keep bringing back old styles, but bring back that style of eighties, right? Side Ooh. side ponytails, uh, crop tops, and hand and Tommy. Basically, I don't want that. I don't want that brand. <laughs> you know? I don't want that. that's trash <laughs> brand. <laughs> Love kind of. That's rich yeah. trash brand, and I don't like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's basically what the movie's all about. It's just a very very like satire film about like you know Al Yankovic which is only joking in every single song that he's ever done he just plays songs yeah. you know with his own lyrics and he had a lot of fun I think with this movie boy did a he. T- I'm assuming it was fun for him I like who, he wrote this thing to the ground who do you think had more fun Al Yankovic writing and watching Daniel this movie, or Daniel Radcliffe, Radcliffe <laughs> you cannot tell me that dude didn't have a blast doing this yeah uh I think that this movie is very fun because of how fun everybody looks like everybody's having while well, doing this. You know I, can't, I, mean? I can't see Nathan at all. Like Patton Oswalt <laughs> and like... Patton Oswalt, yeah. I mean, even, anyone. even Weird Al being the exec guy in there. Right? <laughs> like, With Will Forte? Yeah, yes. so that's... Will Forte. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I just want him to be his sword character from Tim and Eric and just get in his face. That's, yeah. I <laughs> that's all I could see whenever he was talking. I know. Yeah. Like, I couldn't see that either. Like, but, I don't sell a sword a year, I'm fine. <laughs> but, but it was... But it played really really well for the tone so here's what mm. i'll say there's something like it it almost tiptoes into like tim and eric humor it does times. at the beginning it's, so much at the beginning it ridiculous. definitely does yes with the accordion the, salesman the oh my dad god and everything yeah like that, that whole start yeah it the dad is a Tim it and Eric was character. Losing me out of the game. I, the no, the polka you. party? Are you kidding me? See, I was fine say, with the polka party. <laughs> the party first third of the movie, I was ready to give this movie a ten. Oh my god! I, I, I believe you. I was you. ready to I give this a ten. You. Yeah. With the accordion guy, the bar, the the scene where well, we're sure we'll go through I everything. Like yeah. when, when, uh, yeah. I like Rocky Road. When I like Rocky Road. Road. Yeah. When they're like, you can't become famous overnight, yeah. and then the pool scene. Like, all of those, oh, like, the yeah. first third is a 10 out of 10 for me. With Jack Black. Oh, comes my out of nowhere. Oh, my God. Yeah. Just the stupid humor and back they still to back. tase the shit out of Jack Black by the time it's all said. Which, to start out from the beginning, to go in order. I, I want to hear the accordion guy, because that is my With my the favorite. accordion that, that might be the best part of Coming movie. around. Yeah. Oh, my God. And it was, like, the Reno 911 yeah. like, lieutenant guy. It's like, Lieutenant yeah. Dan. Not Lieutenant, lieutenant Dan, but yeah, it's... Uh, lieutenant, uh, anyway. Yeah, the short, short guy. You know the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
our editor will put a little name thing right here. That's <laughs> yeah, that's right. No, but yeah, he comes in and he starts showing them all that, and then the dad starts beating the living <laughs> hell out of him. And he's being the nicest is, ever. So, yeah. until, yeah. so, so until this point, the movie's like pretty straight. Plays it straight. It's like a bit, bit over the top, making fun of the like biopic like, genre. Like you'll never be famous. Yeah. You'll never like do anything. Being overly harsh, but not like insane. Yeah, right. but not yeah. insane. Violent. Yeah. Until the accordion guy comes up. <laughs> And Dylan, you can talk and about the beat. And he's yeah. like, you're gonna work at the factory. <laughs> yeah. He's like, what, what do you even do? make at the factory? <laughs> You'll like, learn it. You'll when learn you start working work at the factory. <laughs> yeah. Let the call back to that. But yeah. no, whenever the guy is just like, no, sir, this is incredibly reasonable. I understand the struggle with it. He's just bleeding out. It goes back to you know what it is. It goes back to like a person continually dying joke to me. Yeah. And again, it's just with kung pao. Yeah. It's the same kind of it's thing. It's just the same bit of humor. So of course that one absolutely fine. I was like, I'm so I'm so for this. And he's and he's bleeding out in the corner yeah. while the mom and Weird Al have the conversation. Yeah, and she's like, like, don't tell you... your dad about oh, this. Yeah. He's like, I'm still here and I'm bleeding out. Yeah. And she's like, we're talking. We're here. talking. I'm talking to my son here. And he's like, my, my apologies. I think that's. Just probably a broken rib there, like <laughs> gargling blood. <laughs> And then from that point on, it gets ridiculous because then yeah. you do get a time jump of him being like fourteen or fifteen, you know, but looking like high Dan- school. Yeah, no, but just... he wasn't Daniel Radcliffe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, no yeah. he he looked like uh, Dave, like the young version, just of like Dave. Dave from Lil Dicky's show. Anyways, yeah. but yeah, then the, the show Dave. parties, and it's th- from that point on, it gets so insane. Yeah. Like it never really lets off. Not even in a bad way. Or good no, way the the but... drunk goggles are officially on the mo- like the movie's retelling of Weird Al's life at that point, yep. and probably for the better though. Like, I definitely think like the yeah, movie this... feels much more my speed and and tone on that point forward because now it's like we're all in on it because at the beginning it just felt a little a little too Tim and Eric-y, Although again, the accordion beat down scene is probably the top three moment for me. Yeah, uh, <laughs> and then it shifts. You slice a third off and just <laughs> yeah. spam that button. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, whatever noises come out of it now, I don't remember. <laughs> um, yeah, but then we get into uh, him actually making music and, you know. And his little roommate friends and yeah. all that stuff. Oh, which... d- don't skip over his no, roommates and Daniel no, yeah. Radcliffe coming out yeah. because, well, oh my god. Just to they're... touch on it, too, like, like if you guys saw the after credits, like, the, the pictures of, like, him and his, like, three best friends, yeah. they were damn look, near that. They all yeah, look like, just about. It was them. kind of insane. And I thought that was just another parody. You know, I, like, I these wonder... are good-looking dudes that are just too cool for school. Like I wonder if that's the true part. Like, he ends up with roommates and they all actually are musicians. And yeah. then it, like, kind of works out that way. And they can... Yeah, they, it's something that would be interesting just to see, like, a breakdown, like, kind of parsing truth. How much of the fiction. truth is, like, I have yeah, some of it in the trivia, sure. but it's, it's nothing that really deals with, like, characters so much. Sure. It's just a yeah. uh, play of events and, like, how these things actually happen. So, for instance... So Madonna didn't kill no. Fidel yeah, Castro. Yeah, Castro. Yeah, Castro didn't take over the drug <laughs> The drug cartel. <laughs> yeah, Pablo Escobar wasn't, like, this nice, like, Pablo, you yeah, know... Yeah, yeah. Uh, when, so with the roommate scene, when they're introducing right. all the roommates and he's got his accordion, it's like, man, like you can get there someday. He's, and Dan Rack was like, I'm so glad you all are so accepting. And then you get that little speech from his friend that's like, have you all ever like been driving and just let go <laughs> and just wheel? see what happens? He's like, just last night I was driving down the 105 with my eyes closed. Didn't know if I was going to die or live. He's like, oh my God, Steven. And then it just quickly jumps off of it. Yeah, it's just like... <laughs> And then of course that's when they're like, "Hey, we, uh, hey Al, will you uh, make us a sandwich?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> make a sandwich. What a weird suggestion. Hey, Al, go make us all sandwiches. And he's, like, Al. And he's, and he's just like, "Okay." And oh, then right. he starts looking at the bologna and Mascherona is well, playing he, on the radio. He's like, "Oh, we, all we've got is uh, this package of bologna." He's like, "Yeah, you can use my bologna." Yeah, you can use my bologna. <laughs> and, and you and you hear the song in the background, and you're. A little bit, I'm a little bit like, I'm laughing, but I'm like, fuck you, movie. Like, <laughs> it just keeps doing it. I know. You know. And it keeps I mean, zooming on Daniel Radcliffe. Movie keeps yeah. doing That's this true. Whole I know. Time. Every I know. song is just like heavily. It's in your yeah. Face. Especially it, beat Which it. is like definitely like a thing where it's just like if you are familiar with his work, it's. Just, yeah. it's there is it no is getting away from it. Because you know it, yeah. exactly where, where it's it came from. Every, time. every single yeah. time, yeah. <laughs> like where it writes itself, but you know what? Like. I come back to this idea that, like, Weird Al Yankovic, uh, I, I think is actually an insane talent in the way yeah, of, like, it's being... Really, he uh, created it. If we're talking about not even just, like, you know, parody cover and stuff like that, like, truly, like, a, a leader of satire 
in general with that. He's like the carrot top, but like a <laughs> a weird good like one. musical. Yeah, I musical love that they line. had like uh, Gallagher and all these other like yes. relative field ones, but to see like Sunny truly, and Cher, like, like, yeah, Dolly and everybody, yeah, exactly. Salvador Dolly. To see like the cream of the crop one, it really be like, yeah, listen, this is like definitely his flavor, but like it just does not feel like it's the same brand at all. Like it feels like this is all like name brand stuff, and then we got you know Weird Al out of all of it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, anyways. But yeah, basically, and then the, after he like gets famous after seeing uh, Weird Al and, what's his name? What? The exact guys that are like, this oh. is a piece of shit. Oh, uh, yeah. Paul Forte. And yeah. yeah, Will yeah. Forte. Yeah, Will yeah. Forte, yeah, sorry. Yeah. yeah, like from that point on, it just, it's it's really funny because then he literally becomes famous overnight. He turns the radio on and then... Because he goes, he goes in and mails the letter the, <laughs> to the guy. Yeah. And he's like, man, like how long will it take like for something to happen? His friend's like, you're not going to become famous <laughs> overnight, man. And, and then, then the radio... And the guy on the radio. <laughs> like, like, oh, we just got this track in. Yeah. And everyone's uh-huh. been asking for it. And they're like, what? We're going to be playing nothing but this track for the next 72 and then, hours. And then all of his friends just go ape shit. <laughs> they're, they're like, yeah, then one of them throws a plate. Play. And I was like, yeah. yeah. I was crying. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, that's exactly your kind of humor. Yeah, yeah. 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 I was crying at the part. That was my favorite part. You know of what the movie. that what that was though for us? It was the it's the always sunny part where they're playing uh, Charlie McDennis. Charlie McDennis. And, <laughs> and they start smashing shit. It's the same exact. It's the bit. same exact thing. But I'm with you. I did find that part funny. I was just like plates getting shattered. <laughs> We're famous now! Well, and then it obviously leads up to the bar scene where he has to play more oh gig yeah. via Will Forte's advice and Will mm-hmm. uh, Weird Al Yankovic's advice. So then yeah. he goes to this freaking biker bar. <laughs> and but they like murdered the guy before. Maybe him. my favorite part of the whole movie. <laughs> that was honest, awesome too. Yeah. Where like, I don't know, he's obviously going to die. Yeah. He should die. The the when he starts playing for the, and then like everybody starts to be like, Oh, this is a bop but it's the person that goes up to the bartender that's and like goes like, Give me some ice cream. Yeah. Right <laughs> Give me some Rocky Road and some this right now whatever the flavor is. I want Rocky Road. It's like, yeah. Well you better start well, <laughs> Or there's gonna be a murder. <laughs> and Patton Oswald is the heckler in the yeah. crowd who winds up coming to his uh, side. Yeah. Uh, the trivia part, he was supposed to play Doctor Doom or whatever. Oh uh, yeah, the Doctor Demento. Uh, so. Yeah, Demento. that's it. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah Which he, is was, Dwight. he was supposed to play him, but yeah. he got I COVID think, or something. I think Dwight was Oh, he was Dwight, yeah, so yeah, good. Yeah. I Rain. think they both could do it, but yeah, yeah Rain Wilson did him yeah. such a great job. I'm We're jumping way ahead. I'm just bookmarking this for making sure we hit it in Act 3 whenever he tries to adopt Dan, uh, Weird Al. <laughs> just, I just want that bookmark for later. Please make sure I don't want to talk about it. I will. Yeah, but, well, yeah. yeah, so D- Demento, Demento? Dr. Demento. Do- yeah. Demento, okay, oh, yeah. Demento. Uh, <laughs> like the cheese. I know that's what I, that's what I'm like hearing. I'm like I know it doesn't sound just right, but the mentor sounds too Harry Potter. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so the idea that he's just like, oh, Al Yankovic doesn't roll off the tongue. That one's got to go. And he's like, how about weird, <laughs> Al Yankovic? <laughs> <laughs> and Daniel Radcliffe, like, I love it. I love it. I, yeah, I love it. I think it's great. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it, this movie. <laughs> it is so stupid. stupid. But it's good stupid. It is. It's, it's good. It's, yeah. It, it keeps you like, I don't know, like like I said, for me at least, I was, I was well, questioning most of it. It just keeps it. upping the stakes. It does. Like, yeah. It's just soon relentlessly. As, yeah. And then at one point, like you guys said, like Pablo Escobar gets mentioned. Yeah. And he's like, man, I really wish that guy wasn't such a big fan of mine. Like, it's just crazy <laughs> that he's, he's going to pay me the, millions of dollars the before videos. it actually shows. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And like, and then that's just a playback to later yeah. on. They're like, Pablo wants you to go play. How many times do I gotta tell you I'm not gonna play for Pablo Escobar? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Which that's uh, something else that apparently really happened. Like Pablo Escobar had a band he really liked. I believe that. And paid, really? them, and paid them to play. It was in IMDb. I'm, I, I didn't thought see you'd that maybe one. see it. No, yeah. But uh, he paid the band to come see him. And they got really threatened or something, and they couldn't leave, and they had to escape with like his oh people God. like shooting at him and yeah. stuff. Well, a real life band. Yeah. 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 So imagine like defaults out there. <laughs> Jamming the Nickelback. <laughs> right. Like wasting my time yeah. again. Yeah. <laughs> Playing against. Our fingers are bleeding, Pablo. <laughs> but then we get to the like the scene with the all the cameos yeah. that they have in uh, the movie with the pool scene, mm-hmm. yep. and of course Wolfman. Wolf, um, I forgot his name. Wolfman it's, Jack. Yeah, or Wolfman something. Ja- yeah. Jack. Who, okay, real quick. Who is that? He's the no only idea. one I didn't know. In actuality, it's, to be it's, an old yeah, dish, it's an old dish. It's an old DJ. Okay. Oh yeah, because he's oh, really? definitely like playing it up like the DJ that has like all the goofy ass sound. Effects. Yeah, he, right. he did the wolf sound for some reason. Yeah. He did the. Woo! He, I, yeah, think, I think like, that's what that was meant. He's okay, like okay. the old definitive. Like he's 
like the originator of like the DJ persona, like the one with like okay. all the sound bits, the all goofy like sound. Okay. and having like a like a catchphrase or something like that, right? Mm-hmm. That's all like yeah, Wolf is the original like DJ guy from the West. And Coast. even a guy from Queen was there. <laughs> yeah, I'm the bassist. <laughs> I'm the, and they're like, uh oh, Queen. Yeah. Basis. Was he yeah. the actual basis? No, no, no that, that he's a very awesome. famous. He's actor. a very famous actor. Yeah, uh, he's if old. you've seen the new Suicide Squad, he plays a polka dot, polka dot. man. I'm pretty sure he's in a lot of West Anderson and o- movies. O- uh, Oppenheimer, he plays the really bad guy in that one too. Yeah, okay. I, yeah. I, I, like I'm just mm-hmm. I'm not remembering. He's very much an actor. Yeah. Anyway. yeah, which is funny because like obviously they play another one, Bites the Dust. You know, yeah. the, from Queen. Then he comes up with on the spot. Yeah, right. he, yeah, but he has to feel <laughs> magic. For a second. Yeah, and, yeah. and they start heckling him like, "You can't do it. Do You're it. nothing. Like you can't come up with something." I love the jealousy of the crowd and how quickly they take. <laughs> Oh, First of all, on a dime. On a dime. <laughs> how every every character is so willing to hate and immediately love him yes. within like the like just the second part. And then when he's done, Jack Black's like, "That's like the best, best thing, thing I've ever heard in my <laughs> entire <laughs> life." <laughs> and then Queen, like, the Queen he's guys turn, but they don't care. Yeah. And, yes. then, and then the Queen guys like, "We're playing a little gig here in a little bit. It's, it's called good. Live Aid. <laughs> yeah. If you want to open for us, you can." It's like I'm not doing, doing that. that. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> and then everyone's like, "Ah ha ha ha." I want. I, I want to believe that that part is actually real. I want to believe that the Queen <laughs> basis was. Ass. You want to believe that Weird Al turned down the <laughs> turned down Queen the yeah. <laughs> yeah. when there was Oasis and all of those yes. that were there. That, Absolutely. That to me is where the movie peaks and it never reaches it again because Madonna's introduced. You don't like and, Madonna. And then the whole movie just mm. descends from there. And the thing is, which I will preface by saying, I. Adore Evan. Or I think Evan her name is Evan Wood. Rachel Wood. Yeah. Uh, I started rewatching Miss Maisel, uh, Marvelous Miss Maisel again, which she plays the main character of, yeah, and they I just gave that. her nothing to work with in this movie. Mm-hmm. Like I think she's such a one note, not fun kind of character for her to have so much to do in this movie, and just her character just drags the movie down in my opinion. Like I think it just goes in a not fun and not happy direction because until then. I love, like, Daniel Radcliffe's, like, his happiness and just, like, radiance in playing this role. Like, especially when he's playing um, the I Love Rocky Road at the club or whatever. Like, he's just exuding happiness and energy. It's like, that's what I want this movie to be is just, like, stupid. Like, for me, I'm sure you all disagree. Like, just, like, a happy, just, like, let Daniel Radcliffe just be happy. Like, let it just exude that kind of happiness and then... Madonna comes in and it's just like, oh well, the uh, bo- the musical to be like a Yoko Ono, yeah, sort of type uh, and, of and yeah, I yeah, and I, I'll agree with Bryce, but I'm also gonna say too, it's like, you know, what what happens to rock stars overnight? They and get that's famous a, so yeah. and this is the turn in the biopic genre when like the, the walk hard, you the know, reality has is, the, right, the like yeah. famous got too famous kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, because you gotta have your dream, but then you gotta wake up. Right? You gotta have well, your drug addiction. Whenever they were. Like the thing that kind of precedes this is the whole like eat it beat it thing yeah. where he's like getting frustrated <laughs> that he's like he's being the one copy getting now. parodied now. <laughs> As they were building up to that, I thought it was going to just kind of continue along with his discography. As yes. I yeah. kind of recall it because he had I an wish album. You would. I think he, I think it had an album. He, I think it was called Running with Scissors, where it was all just a bunch of original so, works that he had come up oh, with. Really, like Albuquerque, and uh, there's like I'd love to other. look this up. I never knew he did original. Oh yeah, he's got yeah, a, he yeah he's got a whole album that's like all original songs. Right, I am. It was an interesting choice though to go with like the fact that he was gonna spin it on its head and be like, no, I am, the, and now everyone's parodying me. Yeah, yeah. Which is it is odd because like. I don't know, but it also I guess goes I mean, with the it, beat. It's, it is really funny for him to just get super pissed off. That yeah, people, people doing that and doing to create that. eat it for yeah. whatever reason, and then Michael Jackson just pisses him off by doing that. I uh, I will say like the the movie does seem less fun with. Um, Madonna Rachel coming Wood, into yeah. it, yeah. But it, she is supposed to be a succubus. She is supposed right, to be yeah. this like it, lurch it's... or not lurch leech, leech. kind of. Yeah. yeah, the movie's doing exactly what they want it yeah. to do yes. through that. It's just a matter of like, Feel. do you want it to yeah. do that? Yeah. At that I point agree. for Price, he's like, I wanted the pure comedy start to finish with it just being a joyous yeah. thing of like good things. This and... movie is just all over the place. Yeah. And for good and for bad. Right. Like it feels like everything's different. There's so many different tones in this movie. It feels like a huge movie. I don't think it's that long. It's not long, long but it no. felt hour, like it 30 hour 40, something like that. And yeah. it's only because like he is famous so fast and he takes on all yeah. these roles just one after the other 
Like, whenever he finally settles down and basically kind of sort of gets rid of Madonna, like, mm-hmm. he finally gets the friendships back and, like, you know, right. he performs again. What does he perform? Was it Eat It? No, Amish, Par- Amish, Amish Paradise. Amish Paradise. There's Julio's out there. Oh, yeah, right. Julio's Bro, there. That yeah. is so fucking Julio good. Julio might be the best cameo cool. and he doesn't do anything. He's just sitting there angrily <laughs> <laughs> the whole show with it. That was the best Passover. It, <laughs> it is, was. It's a very easy, like, easy missable, like, cameo yeah. on that one. But I remember I was just, like, watching, and then you see, like, obviously his hair, and he's just... Yeah, he's just mad. <laughs> like, mean mugging the camera the entire time with it. I, that is absolutely my favorite cameo, hands down, on that one. Yeah, and so. also, banging song. Yeah, oh, it's Amish so Paradise is, is it's, a top, top it's a stop played on Spotify. Oh, yeah, it's really. Song. Yeah. As it I should figured be. white and nerdy. That's what I thought. Too. I, I was waiting for that. Uh, that one's Amish. a little too new. New, new yeah. 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 Well, Amish Paradise is also done. too like it's yeah. I don't I don't think it's got like the repeatable play. Yeah. It was also it's the Beverly Hills of Weezer's discography where you're like oh, yeah yeah that song like you know yeah. you're not really looking forward to hearing that song. You do look forward to hearing you know some of these other ones. I don't know. Amish Paradise is a banger. Amish right? Paradise yeah, is great. great. Yeah. But it's, it's once again, he finally connects with his dad, and he's got, like, he's, what was it, like a, a scrapbook? Uh, yeah, he had a yeah. notebook, and, yeah. like, it, it does, like, this whole, like, the animated <laughs> drawn yeah. thing of, like, his time being in the Amish community. Yeah. <laughs> and I was just like you. I had an accordion, but I couldn't play it. Yeah. He's in, like, the head vice grip thing in the village, <laughs> because they're punishing and him. And then Rum Springer. Yeah. I won't lie, that was, the the lead of Thomas Paradise is like definitely my least favorite part. Like the reincorporation. Least yeah. favorite? Oh wow! Oh, I kind of like the, the I lead didn't up like to it. it. I like I the building it. into it and him like it literally like it's his dad's song. His dad wrote yeah. that song. Yeah. And he's even in the audience, just like, well, I hope I get like royalties or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, like the lead up to it, I don't know. Just kind of like the the whole dad background story was kind of like taking me out of it. Although him. Danny Wright, or rather, Weird Al, working yeah. in the factory. Going to the factory, finally. Getting the, the full circle back on <laughs> yeah. the old... Uh, just like... And the guy's yeah. teaching him how to do it. And he's like, by the way, what, what do what do we make here? He's like, ah! He <laughs> <laughs> just walks off with Yeah. Uh, he hits a button and he gets somebody, like, severed. Yeah. yeah. Oh! He gets drug in somewhere. They're, like, getting dragged off, like, a Jurassic Park <laughs> in the beginning of that movie with the raptor gets the guy. I'm but... Never, I've never seen it. So... <laughs> <laughs> the be that that whole part is like maybe like my like my, my most tuned out part, uh, mm. but the it pays off so well. Or to my bookmark because it gets to uh, you know Doctor Deventer coming in. And he's like, hey, you know you've been like a son to me, and he's like, I want to adopt you, and has the papers here, and he's like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is really weird. I actually just reconnected with my dad. Me and my dad are good. And then they're like, oh, I. Uh, but hey, I'll, I'll catch you later, though, right? And then, like, I think that's the last time we see Dementor the rest of the film. That's it. So, yeah. it is sweet that he, you can tell he's doing it because he loves yeah. uh, Al rather than, like, to take to, money. Like, to right. take advantage. Right. They, I like, like he, their relationship He's genuinely a lot. good and wants the best for him throughout the entire movie. Yes. Which is a character that definitely could have been, a, like, a manipulative type, yeah. but he never was. No. And I also great. have to wonder if Dr. Demento didn't maybe guide him along the way in some of these practices. Oh, you I know? think the acid trip in the hot tub at one point was like... Oh, yeah, he dosed him. That's when yeah. he came up with Eat It. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Which, no, for I'm the saying, record, like, in real life, I think absolutely did happen. It I might think. have. Yeah. Uh, I also, with Dr. Demento, there was the only scene I really liked with Madonna was when... Um, Dr. Demento has the list of things like for uh, weird to do. And he's like, you could do this and her, him and Madonna are just like making, making out yeah, yeah. each other the whole time. Is that your gun or is that mine? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> he's looking disgusted. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, one of the things we really need to talk about that we haven't yet. Uh, Daniel Radcliffe is absolutely shredded to... <laughs> shredded I don't yeah. even know what in this <laughs> movie. That scene where he's like performing and he comes out of the water shirtless. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh my god, what Oh, and the happened? acid trip too. He's like entirely... Was that it? Yeah, he had like a yeah. button down that was unbuttoned. Right. He, um, god, so no. unnecessarily shredded for this well, movie's that's role. That's but... where I feel like he has so much fun with these damn movies. Yeah. We talked oh, about yeah. Guns Akimbo, like... Like, obviously, that was a totally different vibe. Right, but, like, yeah. you know what? Yeah, okay, I'll play a character that has guns just strapped to and my And he's hands. in it. Yeah. And he's in And then, okay, you want me to play Weird Al Yankovic in an entirely satire film? Like, yeah. Or, or just a corpse who farts the whole time. Right. Or that I, I'm here for it. Like, I'm he really was it. just, like, anything that doesn't remotely sound like Harry Potter. Or Wizards. Like, I don't want that. Fun. Otherwise, yeah. I'm good. Yeah. 
I was like, you'll pay me in five dollars and some peanut butter. Like, I'll, I'll go like, for it. Yeah, I've, I've got Harry Potter money. I'm good. I've got yeah, Harry like, Potter yeah. money. I'm still in my early thirties. Like, I'm. Yeah. And he can really yeah. act. He was yeah by he's... far the best thing in this movie. Oh, he's yeah. genuinely like a phenomenal actor through and through on this one. Yeah, I'm, but... I'm waiting for the eventual Oscar nom run movie where he's going to be like. I think he's going to do like what Robert Pattinson. I mean, Robert Pattinson is an imme- like a crazy amount of. An, like he's he's doing very well. Have, yeah. you, have you heard uh, Robert Pattinson do the dub in The Boy and the Heron? No, no, not yet. I'll have to show you all that after this. He does the dub of The, the Heron. I've heard in, a couple clips and it sounds fantastic, yeah. though. The new like, one. He's a great a, amazing actor. Yeah. in that role. Mm-hmm. So, I'll, I'll show you all later. Yeah, yeah. But we are missing the Pablo Escobar. <sighs> so, the, anyways. I, I was segment. not in for that. The John Wick I series. Hated, and, uh, I hated everything about that. The, the part yeah. that was, like, stupid about it, I was fine with it, but the, the dumb part was when Madonna was like, you know, Al, we've got all of this. We can just take over the, the car. <laughs> like, it's that easy. It's that easy. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's just, it's silly, but I mean. No. I, I'm uh, on the other end of it. That part was very fun for me. Like, I thought. Uh, yeah, I thought that was hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> the fact that he starts John Wicking the whole studio staff, and I'm like, okay. Comes in there with just like, yeah. AK-47. Well, and then whenever he's like, no, nah, I, I can't, and he goes to leave, and she's just like trying to shoot him, and just <laughs> crying, <laughs> missing yeah. over. Like, like 10, ten times. Ten well, times. shooting more bullets than the gun has. Yeah. 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 would have, too. As a, as a long going John Wick fan, I'm like, that gun's out. Yeah. That gun's out. <laughs> but it's comedy, so they're allowed to do this. It's just yeah. like, they just keep blasting. And keeps and missing. I guess in a way I do appreciate that Madonna has a weird arc that like involves something else because I it, yeah at the end of the day this movie doesn't I seem think it's like a something good way to send her off. Yes. right that's this is the part now where the movie is like okay this is how we're gonna conclude it because she comes back for the for I, the revenge tour another thing end. that I was wondering during this whole thing is like how is Madonna signing off on this like she is being like well it's a parody does she have to sign yeah off? Know, that's yeah. my question well, I, I, I'm um, pretty sure though that Weird Al has always gotten permission from it yeah he's, he's sure. almost yeah. always like, you don't necessarily out. have to do that but he does, does do that yeah, yeah he's a wholesome guy that but that was my thing and then I was like okay well maybe she doesn't mind being like the cartel leader because that's so wonky that like yeah okay sure. like yeah. Uh, put me in your movie if it, if it ends up like that I guess I don't know but I don't Madonna's Madonna a freak though. Like, doesn't care. We're talking about somebody who has banged half of America, like like <laughs> as far as like the upper class of people. She like, has some amazing TikToks. Yeah. They is are she really? off the walls. Yeah. <laughs> she like Britney Spears level like she, uh, way, way. Wow. She's a nut. I hundred yeah. percent believe Weird Al was like, Hey Madonna, you mind? She's like he did. Do it. She did him like one favor back in the day or something. Or yeah. Vice versa, and she was like, "Yeah, yeah I'm calling it. Forever. That's Just fine. go for it." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he opened for her whenever like <laughs> default couldn't make it. Yeah, the last minute he <laughs> yeah. was in town. And then yeah. she was like, "Wait, you want to do it?" He's like, "All right, you owe me a favor." And she's like, "All right, whatever you want. Just, mm-hmm. just cash it in later." And uh, <laughs> there it is, full circle. That's yeah. why I had canon about it. And then we, uh, he gets, he gets the like whatever award. Yep. And then we haven't talked about him getting assassinated. The very niche category of, like, accordion of the year. Yeah. Accordion of, like, all time or whatever. Yeah. And it's, like, it's between two people. And it shows Prince. And it shows him. And he's, like, kind of giddy. And and as soon as he gets it, Prince is like... Yeah. (laughs) It's just random. Uh, and then the, the large man with the machine gun waiting for the No, it was an RPG. RPG, yeah. 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 Because he, like, locked in on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, And it was, like... Al Yankovic died on that stage I'm, after receiving the the award for Blood. I'm totally okay with how this movie ends. I don't know where yeah, yeah. you guys land on it. Like I was like, okay, I'm, okay, I'm okay to get off it's the ride. It's perfectly now. fine. And they were like, it felt like even they were like, let's just get off the ride. We we need it yeah. to be over. We need it to, <laughs> Al, what do you think? Madonna kills him. <laughs> RPG hires an assassination as a post credit scene that comes. She like out. sheds a tear. Yeah, <laughs> like up in the rafters or whatever. Or no, she was uh, off-site. Yeah, off-site, yeah. She, she, she was, was watching She was from. running her empire. She, she did. Right. The news With the eye patch she, down. She gave him the, the call yeah. order. She was like, Take do the it. shot. Take the shot. <laughs> I I think that's so much fun. Uh, and then, of course, you had the after credits scenes where it's like, it does show a lot of, like... Yeah. Oh, actual, re- like, wholesome, like, yeah. real stuff and shots and things like that. But then the uh, the post credit scene where she's at his grave and then he reaches up and grabs her. <laughs> That's gas. <laughs> that's, so that's, that's such a good shot. <laughs> I'm here for it. Let's go into Fat Did Perfectly Fit. We've been talking about this movie Let's for a minute. It. Price. It's fat. I mean, t- to me, like, it just keeps going on and on. And by the time he finally gets his award and everything, I just feel like it's just been too long. Like Nathan said, like, this movie is short, but it feels very long. So, fat. <laughs> 
about 20 minutes. Yeah, it's a fat movie. Um, I also want to sit there think how much I actually want to cut out for it. It's like, there's a whole dad part. There's like a chunk of Madonna part I'd probably go. And I was like, yeah, there's probably enough there that I'm like giving it more than just chubby. Yeah, so I mean, it's fat, but I don't, I don't think it's like a grotesque abuser of it. You know, I, I don't think it's like so. Like, I wouldn't cut a third of this movie or half a movie. Mm -hmm. Nothing like that. Yeah. Half's a lot. Half's a lot. That's a fuck ton. <laughs> yeah, that's a that 90 minute movie. I don't know. 45 yeah. minutes? That's a short film. Anyways. Uh, I'm going to say it's pretty fit. I will admit that, that that halfway point of the movie, after the. Uh, it reminded me of, like, The Big Lebowski. The reason why I didn't like it was whenever he took that acid trip or whatever. The dream sequence. Yeah, yeah. the dream sequence where he was, like, floating and all this, like. Could, didn't care for that. Like, I'll say I could, I could cut that too. Was the yeah. uh, like guy at the bowling yes. alley? Yeah. Does yes. anyone here like those like dreamy like? No, they, they almost kind of never things? work they out. They well. never work for me. They, they're always a little overly long. Yeah. And not really useful. Like oh, it, like and the same movies, thing that goes for this. Like, like, like in movies and games, like I've I never in, really enjoyed. In comedy them. movies, I'm a little is... more into it in a game if it's still like somehow participatory yeah. yeah it's whenever you're watching a movie of it that's where it's like really yeah, yeah. yeah i think my biggest gripe with it is is that it's like it is a very common trope in comedies but it feels like that they're like oh we need about five to six more minutes of buffer time and we have these that's animators what it, feels like filler. it yeah. is it always feels like filler so yeah yeah, yeah. But i don't i can't think of a time where i'm like oh this is a funny example of it like yeah yeah um, good point, Mason. But I think that, like, <clears throat> from that point on to when he starts to, like, dump Madonna, like, that part is the, where I'm a little fuzzy, because it's just kind of oh, like yeah. this this lull, but again, it, it does go with the the lifestyle of a rock star. You're going to have this substance abuse, you're going to have this stupid little, you know, midlife crisis type stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm fine with it, but I do kind of wish that it, they had trimmed it up just a smidge. Yeah. So... But other than that, it was all good. Like, the dad part, I loved that. Mm -hmm. I loved everything, pretty much, about this movie outside mm -hmm. of just that, that middle chunk. It's really hard to call for me, I think. You're gonna, it's I like, feel like you're leaning chubby. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> like, it is, but then, like, what do you... What do you got? What, what things would you necessarily trim down? Like... Just take the whole I'm roommates a, out. All the I'm roommates not scenes. as much of a fan of, like, the... Uh, uh, scenes that are beating a dead horse mm -hmm. kind of level of just uh, like depends on the horse <laughs> yeah <laughs> well like you know the the beating the accordion guy that yeah. goes on a long time it, it does it's <laughs> a perfect amount of time in my opinion <laughs> so I would probably take a little bit out of there oh. you know basically I would like a lot of these things where it's like that kind of humor is just not my kind of humor yeah. if there were things to cut I would just trim those down I don't think you get rid of anything but I think you can tighten up mm. some scenes mm -hmm. so you're the plastic surgeon here you're just you're just mm. putting this around just, just nipping straight. and tucking yeah just yeah. nipping and tucking I got kind of a question yeah what's up what's the 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 song that you think of for Weird Al when somebody says Weird Al what's like the first song you come up it's, with it, Paradise. it's white and nerdy for me white and nerdy I can't Albuquerque Okay. Okay. I don't even know. We'll, we'll check that out. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's we'll original. plug it in there. It's long. It's, it, long. it's not a quick song. No. It's like seven or eight minutes long. We'll play it in the background when we play games. There we yeah. go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, why, uh, what did you say? Amish Paradise? Amish Paradise, no question. I mean, I would say that's like one of the best. It's, like, it's one of the best. I think it's one of the most definitive. But for me, it was because that's like. I think I remember hearing other songs about Weird Al like growing up, but it's <laughs> I grew up on the West Coast, so you have to remember like. The hip hop scene, that song got played. Oh, oh, that yeah. song got hella played. So that yeah. is my definitive Weird Al song in my head. Like, and and that's another thing. I mean, like, I, in the age group that we're in too, it's like Weird Al was like established, and he was kind of big already. Yeah, yeah. I was about to say the the few hint, the, the the least three or four years between me and Nathan and you and Price, I could see being like an influencing factor on that. Yeah, song maybe a little bit. Well, yeah, yeah. But I do think that like I don't know about you guys, I I did kind of look into him as I was like quite a bit younger and yeah. I thought that these were funny and that these were yeah, like uh, very unique mm -hmm. Ethan's the one that was like into I, it I 100% like, see like, that you gotta, you gotta listen to this I could see him being you. at several <laughs> concerts already in his lifetime you know like, oh and I'm sure the concerts for this guy yeah, I'm sure they are nuts. a blast <laughs> oh my god with hardcore Sets, Al fans yeah. like dude I actually want to go to a that may be like now after watching cool. this movie in hindsight I'm like this may be like one of those like top five off the wall concerts that's, I want to follow. That's what time. I was gonna say. Yeah, like yeah. when it, sometimes we'll do the the recaps or like the reviews, yeah. you know, after so many seasons, and like, you know, Sing Street is has a really good like concert vibe, like with yeah. the drive it like you stole it. 
I think Amish Something. Paradise oh, might the be Amish one of Paradise the best on, ones. Yeah. On this movie is like the, the trip. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, So that's gonna be remembered. It was really good. Yeah, that one is a banger. Like they did everything to build that up. Yeah, like a huge payoff. Yeah, yeah it was that was the prize pony yeah. of the movie? I think. But you guys want to do scores? Scores, Nathan. Yeah. We'll start with you. Um, I'm gonna land at. And then he hits the button. He always seems so, con- <laughs> well, so contemplative when he's coming up with the score. <laughs> well, I'm somewhere between like eight and a half or nine. Okay. Nice. I was like, what, where's the point five on this one? Uh, you know, I think it's a nine. Yeah. I, I like Weird Al. I've always liked Weird Al. I, I think his stuff's really funny. And um, yeah, this is a very good sat- satire of a movie mm-hmm. that goes really over the top and silly in a lot of ways that it's just very entertaining mm-hmm. it's it's worth watching for mm-hmm. sure <sighs> i'm gonna be a little less hot on it i really like this movie i think it's really good it's just not hitting great for me because mm-hmm. there's there's again like i'm probably on the part where i cut i don't know anywhere from like 20 minutes on this film on this one um the but the the, the 70 other minutes of it are very very fun yeah, i had a lot of fun solid. with it um, this was this was teetering at an eight for me for a good while, but I think I've knocked it down just to a seven point five, just because there uh, the tempo issues right around Act uh, two to three were in that ballpark. I'm just like oh, that stuff go. Even though, even though the payoff for that segment, getting the adoption joke and stuff in there is like one of my favorite parts. It just it's mixed bag for me. There's parts that are like I don't love the build up, but then the payoff is good. So those ones were a little so so mm-hmm. for me. But I had an absolute blast with this movie. This movie is so fun. Like, mm-hmm. I, I was okay to turn my brain off and just laugh with it at times. So. Well, that's and it is one of those movies too, where like, you know, it, if you look away for too long, you're gonna miss a couple you of those cameos a couple jokes that and already <laughs> passed. If I missed LL Cool J, I'd be furious. Oh though. my gosh, yeah. Because that one is maybe like my favorite yeah, little cool two second pass would be nuts. Yeah, or Coolio, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Like, all I can think of is Keenan and Kel. Yeah. Oh, here it goes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you ever go get the Arby's? Uh, Good Burger meal or whatever. No, I didn't. I forgot. No. I oh. saw. Yeah, they had that for a while because there was like a new Good Burger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it was on the sign on the bypass. I couldn't I be convinced to go to an Arby's in general. Dude, Arby's is good. Arby's is if you if you if you on a day Arby's hate has your body, moments. Go to Arby's. <laughs> Listen, like it's I'm, good. You're gonna hate yourself. Here's but it's th- good. I never. Here's the thing about Arby's really quickly is that like I don't ever want to go there and then buy it. But if you came home, if you came over, you like if I got a beef and cheddar and curly fries. Somebody hand you a beef and cheddar. Curly fries. I'm gonna. Oh, obliterate yeah. that beef and cheddar or curly fries yeah. but there's something about the idea of going to Arby's and ordering from there that I'm just like gross and spending like, some of your money <laughs> yeah I don't know what it is and like, one of the bot pass gives you no meat it's like one piece of roast yeah, beef and it's all bread I think it's bread. I think it's because the, huh. the bot pass one the bot pass is a curse yeah it's on a curse. fast food anyway <laughs> yeah. let's be honest it is, it is. but anyway I'll go yeah. ahead with my review yeah. uh, and this movie is not a curse it is it's a very fun movie but one of the things that get that out on my site <laughs> <laughs> But one of the things that I really want movies to have is a consistent tone. Mm -hmm. And this movie with the first third is a 10 for me. I keep saying it. I love the stupid jokes. I love uh, the happiness. I love all that stuff. But the movie does not keep its tone in any way, shape, or form. Uh, Some movies like Parasite can pull that off beautifully. Like I go into the movie and I expect something and then I get something totally different and I'm on board for the new ride. That's rare, but it is possible. And again, Parasite is a prime example of that. This movie is not. Mm -hmm. As soon as Madonna comes into this movie, the movie just takes a nosedive into something I don't consider very fun. The part of this movie, as I said earlier, that I really enjoy is Daniel Radcliffe's happiness that he exudes from this role. And that's just gone towards the end of the movie. You never really see that again. Even when he's back on top and in a good place and clean and everything, Mm -hmm. he's smiling and stuff, but you don't feel that joy that you got from him at the beginning of the movie. And he's not supposed to. It's no fault on his own. Yeah, Yeah, and his roommates are very fun. Just the lines they gave them stuff, they're very fun. Um, And the Pablo Escobar little side thing, I get Mm. what they're going for, but that still didn't hit for me. It just goes on too dang long, and it's a joke that I was not on board with from the beginning. So I was never on there from the start, so I was not there at the end. Um, and I'm also not really going to remember this movie. It was a good time, but I'm still going to give it probably a six. Mm. Okay. It's a big drop. <clears throat> That's mm-hmm. like you're riding on a Bowie 737 in the door. The last, the, last two, <laughs> the last two thirds are very rough, in yeah. my opinion. I would watch that first third any time. Mm. Yeah. Um, I think that this movie, which, I don't know, 
again, it's 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 if you grow up with it, it does help quite a bit, which I think most of us were there. A little, you know, oh yeah, to some degree. Yeah. White and Nerdy was on the MTV Top Twenty videos really? oh, every yeah, week. You're yeah, right. every. They week. played it seventy two hours straight. Just that song. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. That probably is on. Jump it, it was on yeah. a constant rotation. Yeah, yeah. Well, all the White time. Nerdy definitely was. Um, but for the same reason that, like, if you just kind of go into this movie blind, which I know that you guys have probably heard of the movie, yeah, but I've like, seen the trailer, it, but that was yeah, I was like not so much looking forward to the movie, but I was like, well, I mean, if they can do a buyout for anything else, like, I guess I'll watch a Weird Al. Yeah. This, on first watch, this movie was top notch stuff. Like, I absolutely <laughs> loved it. Yeah. It was so funny. Were you expecting more, uh, wa- um, like a straight drama, like Johnny Cash, uh, one, or were you expecting like Dewey Cox? I expected probably more Johnny Cash, but like, okay. not, yeah, not I could see it. Like, yeah. Like, yeah, not like I would have never. Even if I had thought it was a Dewey Cox Walk Hard story, whatever it was, I would not have expected this. You know, this oh, yeah. this takes it and just blows through anything yeah. that's ever been done like that. I think. Um, but even like I said, with the middle part, is it's all still good. I'm not gonna go as high as a nine. I do think it's an eight and a half. Um, very, very fun watch. You can absolutely just put this on and just catch things as you go. Mm-hmm. I think you can, upon second watch, I, I loved it just as much. Um, but yeah, eight and a half. It's, it's so solid. Daniel Radcliffe is, I think, I think we might be sleeping on him a little bit. I don't think we're sleeping We've on him. We've watched like three of his three movies. Four movies. <laughs> no, I'm just saying like, like there's more. There, there's horns. I think we as a collective, I haven't got around to watching horns. Horns is wild. Yeah. I, hmm. I don't want to put it on the wheel. It's not that yeah. great, but it's yeah. wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got a Juno Temple in Juno it. Juno Temple, yeah. yeah. Anyways. Who's that? It's a blonde actress. Yeah. Is she the one that got pregnant and no. stuff? No, no, that's, uh, that's... Watched that with Kelly the other day. Very underwhelming. And J.K. Simmons is in it. You're talking about just mm-hmm. Juno? Yeah. With oh, Juno. Elliot Page. Wait, yeah. what'd you say? Okay, you that was you... underwhelming? Underwhelming. Juno? Juno? Fuck off. That's 2007. That's a top three movie in 2007. Yeah. Also, it has a great soundtrack. Jason Bateman. Yeah, it does. Kelly yeah. plays that soundtrack all the, all the time. Yeah, it's yeah. a good soundtrack. It's great. I was a bird and you were me. Banger. Which era did it land on? It's purple. Purple? Four player game. Oh, oh my And we're just about to do that. Yeah. What, a, what a kink in our plans. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, four player game. Yeah, we'll see the other purple one now. Two hours of movie or TV show. Oh yeah, yeah. this is the first one. This one's been fun. Oh, do yeah. do Wait, we so want to this... spin it again? Because we're about to do. No, that? We're, we're about to play a game. This one specifically was that the next movie review get together is just us hanging out. Yeah, that's what we're about to do. Well, no, that's what we are doing. But now we don't have movie homework for next week. This yeah. is just a hangout. And now we can time. just next time hang out. I yeah. want homework. <laughs> Sorry, the, the wheel decided. The wheel says no homework. No you're, homework. You're this right. Week. That's what the wheel that's says. True. So make sure to tune in next <laughs> time. Not necessarily next week. Don't worry. By the time we upload these, you won't miss a beat. Yeah. Um, but if you do want to catch it, that what that video looks like, I'm sure we'll probably record some of that. Yeah, that sounds right. We record everything we do. Everything. Yeah. When we're at Nathan's house, we're always being recorded. Well, I think the idea is that we do re- yeah. like we do record. Yeah. We record the, yeah. Yeah, we hang, yeah. the hangout. So, uh, maybe, maybe it'll be played up. Maybe. Yeah, maybe it'll be played up. That seems like some. If you want to watch us yell and scream at each other on for video game content, make sure to tune in next week ish. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll see. Probably. Probably, probably. next week. Probably next week. Probably be next week. Yeah, yeah. probably yeah. next week. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, tune in to watch us hang out and play video games and stuff like that. Don't worry if you're watching for movie reviews only. We'll be right back. I'm sure we're going to hit that. What's the chance we there's hit that a twice? Can- there's a kangaroo and there's a yellow. Is not oh, a yeah. Color. I still have one that's not been hit yet. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. only these yeah. two that what's have that, left. What, what's yours? The, not the um, movie. Ice Cube is a kangaroo. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, I pointed my arrow oh. to it. Not even my own. I. <laughs> 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 I have my suspicions. I'm not going to say any more on that. But what else could it possibly be? But anyway, if you're uh, curious what those next two movie slices are, make sure to keep tuning in. You want to hit the bell when you know those next video comes up. And make sure to subscribe if you like our content. Also, if you're really thoughtful and have deep, thoughtful comments to have about our comments, let us know in the comments below. We will talk to you. We will talk to you. Is our stuff bright enough by now? Let us know in the comments oh, yeah. below. Did we do enough research? We've done no difference to our lighting since the time we said we were going to. So. Did we say we were? Yeah, we, I said in the comments we were going to. Well, you didn't tell me. Oh, sorry. Okay, that's on me. Tune in on the next movie. For the Hangout, tell, let us know what the, what the lighting situation is. 
That's yeah. it. Anyways, guys, uh, like, subscribe, show some love. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. What did critics say of this movie, by the way? Oh, that's a good point. Do that. yeah, yeah. Stay tuned. You, you said, Don't leave us. You said guys, by the way. You were very gender oh, specific. Oh no! What have you done? That's fine. Women too. I, I think for this. guys is gender neutral. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, y'all. I'm gonna go with the. There the, you go. The southern. Uh, the southern colloquialism. Yeah. Weird. They like that better. Just googled. Probably could have. Yeah, yeah probably could have. Well, well, here we are. Monster. 84 tomato meter is 84. Audience, Audience score is an 80. 80. That makes sense. Yep. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> yeah. 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 Keep going now. Yeah. We appreciate that last second hangout.